Oh boy. Oi! I heard a loud voice from afar. I turned my head and found Red running towards us. For uh, who else could it be? <laughs> you guys are going now too? I'm lucky today. Let's go together. Mm -hmm. Shh, shh, people will hear. Sure enough, some kids were looking at us. He's already famous, but since he's yelling and running towards us, everyone stared. It's nice to go home together, but if he yells like that, people might find out that we live together. Yeah. I don't think it's a good idea to go together, Red. I told Red while parrying around. Red seemed to ask, why? Ah, uh, hey, where are you going? Oh, hi, Tay. Before I knew it, Tay was beside Red. Where are you two going? Tay pointed at me and Yano standing side by side as he spoke. I quickly got away from Yano, <laughs> and I see that everyone is paying attention to us. We'll all go our separate ways! <laughs> as I said that out loud, some people stopped staring and went their ways. That worked? My goodness. <laughs> Alright, but are you going home? Exams ended and you're not going out? Tay smiled and said. Seeing Tay, Yano, and Red gathered together, the kids started walking slowly around us. Some even stopped to stare. I was very uncomfortable with the situation, but Tay seemed to enjoy it. Ugh, I hate it. Haha. <laughs> There's so much housework to do. I have to wash the dishes, do the laundry. I didn't do anything because of the exam, so I have a lot of work to do. Where are you going, Tay? Kinda think of it, I think Tay said he doesn't have work today. He said Mr. Hobbin specifically gave him a day off today. Then will Tay go out somewhere? Um, that was the plan, but I changed my mind. I'll just go home. What? There's a kitten at home, and I have a feeling she'll ruin all the dishes and clothes today. <laughs> uh. Tay grinned. He did talk around it, but surely that kitten is me. But what did he mean by ruin? I was doing just fine before you came along. When I lived by myself, I didn't really care about housework. But now Mama Tay's there to nag me all the time. He looks so happy every time he points out how clumsy I am with housework. Hmm. I'll go care for my cat today. Hmm. I stared at Tay with my red face and he smiled happily. On the other hand, there was one more thing Red wanted to ask. Huh? Tay, you have a cat? There's a cat in our house? You and I live together and I've never seen a cat. Ow! Something came flying towards Red at his stupid question. But what was that? I looked at where the rock came from and I saw Lance walking towards us. Yes, Lance! Lance always throws things at the right time. I missed that. What are you all doing? You are blocking the way. Move, please. You just threw some. What? Hey, this isn't just a bag! It was Lance's bag that hit Red's head and fell to the ground. Lance picked it up indifferently and emptied it. It was packed with thick books. Slippers must not be enough for him now. I thought he threw a rock. My bag was too heavy anyways. It was too heavy to carry, so I just threw it. It must have hit your head. I'm sorry. Look at that smirk, though. What he said didn't make any sense, but he didn't blink once. Don't lie, man! You put in those books on purpose! Red fumed. How strong is Lance? But he looked at me once and made a weird face, as if he remembered he had something to say to me. He really is moody. <laughs> Alright. Yuri texted me today, and he said we should eat something nice together at home today since exams are over. He asked if fried chicken sounds good. At his words, I quickly looked around. Thankfully, there were a lot of people around, but no one seemed to have heard. Phew. How could you say together at home out loud like that, Red? <sighs> Lance, you know, you know what's going on. Lance must have thought the same thing as the same thing as he sighed. Um, are you going home? Oh, Yano grabbed my arm. Yano must be aware of all the gazes too. Yeah, I should get out of here. <laughs> oh, I I should. Then everyone goodbye. Okay, bye. Hmm? Where's she going? <laughs> and Lance is still face on He's like, God, man. How could you be so dumb? <sighs> <laughs> Everyone except Red, who was still being slow, said goodbye to each other and headed their ways. Well, it was more like, see you later than goodbye. I hurriedly left the gate. 
You guys are so crazy. I love when you interact, though. You make me feel all tickly. <laughs> ah, I can't eat anymore. I'm done. After I got home, I rested for a bit and rolled up my sleeves. The boys all came home just in time. Thanks to that, I was able to finish the housework quickly with Tay and Yana's help. And when Yuri came home last, we ordered fried chicken and ate together. I felt much better now that the exams were over and from being full. I felt drowsy from being so stuffed. And chicken will do that to you too. Master, are you finished? Should I get you a cup of tea? No, I'm fine. I'm too full even for tea. If I eat chicken every day, won't my muscles get really big? Ah, <sighs> but your waistline will too. Yuri, weren't the chickens expensive? Everyone was rubbing their full stomachs and looking quite satisfied. But I suddenly remembered that Yuri paid and felt a bit worried. Five boys and one girl. I think we ate almost five chickens. Is he fine with paying for all that? Oh dear. It's something my honey eats. This is nothing. I'd like to get you everything you want to wear, eat, and drink, you know. And I'd also like to... It started again. I will cover my ears. No, Lance. It'll be faster to cover Yuri's mouth than your ears. I love that Yuri is still trying with me, even though I'm like so far on Yana's route now. Oh, Yuri. I do not want to touch that mouth. What? What's that expression just now? Are you saying my mouth is dirty? You have no idea how many women covet these lips. Cherry boys. Oh, I'm gonna take care of what Master wears, eats, and drinks. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Fierce competition, as always. It's so hard to see my honey these days, because we go to school and come back home separately. If I'd known it'd be like this, I would have been a student. If I'm in my honey's class, I'd be able to see you every day. I'm sorry I didn't predict this. Aw, oh, don't worry, sweet Yuri. You're next on my list. Then we'll spend lots of time together. I'd like to say no to that. Being in the same class with you, that scares me. I suddenly imagined a creepy scene that gave me goosebumps. Ew. Endure Yuri's buttery words throughout the whole day? That's not the only problem. I won't be able to handle all the jealous gazes from the girls. Lance and Yana are difficult as it is. Difficult? <sighs> I'm not complimenting, but you guys are really popular. You guys have no idea how many jealous looks I get for being close to you all. And if Yuri joins, going to the academy will be hell. Thankfully, Yana's fans have decreased a bit. Uh, I rattled on my complaints and ended up saying more than I should. I peered at Yano's face, but he didn't seem to mind. I feel more comfortable with no one around me. I like being able to talk to Master during recess. If I'm surrounded by people, I grow apart from Master. I don't like it. Yano said indifferently. Yano's fans decreased? What yellow? A justice warrior must always be at the center of people's attention. <laughs> I don't think I could be a justice warrior then. I think it's better to be quiet than to be uselessly noisy. Except, I don't think it's good to get too isolated. Lance said, worrying about Yano too. But more than that, I never thought Lance would say such a thing. Yeah, not in this route anyway. I thought he's the most isolated one. Hmm. Uh oh, I was about to say something to Yano too when the phone rang. Huh? Wait. It was a number I didn't know. I hesitated, but I took the call. Hello? I ran towards the kitchen to be surrounded by silence and took the call. Hello? Cutie? Mom? Mom? What's up? At this hour. Isn't it night there? Where are you? I'm home, of course. I came home early because the exams ended today. Oh, that's lovely. But what's with the number? Oh, I'm calling from a telephone box. But I'm glad you're home. Then I can see you today. What? Your dad and I have just arrived. Arrived? Y you mean you're here? Yes, we had to make a quick stop for a conference. The trip goes through Korea, so we decided to drop by for a while. 
It's been a while since we saw your face. Oh, you, you're the worst at, like, giving me advance notice, Mom. My parents have suddenly come home. I remember the last time she called, she said she wouldn't be able to come for a while. I glanced at the living room. I thought it was quiet, and sure enough, all the boys were silent and listening to me. As usual, I'll send a cab over. Let's eat at the hotel restaurant. We can't leave the hotel because we have an early flight tomorrow. Oh, okay. All right. I'm used to Mom sending a cab for me. When their schedule's tight, they stay at a hotel by the airport and stay put there. I reserved a table at the hotel restaurant, so hurry up. Okay, all right. It was a bit sudden, but that was how they usually are. Then see you later. Okay, see you later, cutie. I wrote down the car number Mom told me and hung up the phone. <sighs> I was a bit nervous, so I sighed. Coming here all of a sudden. It was so like my parents. But I'm glad they can't come to the house. I would have been upset before. Such a strange change. Is it because the boys are with me? Ah. The boys in the living room were waiting for me to tell them about the call. Blah, 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 blah. I slowly explained everything. Everyone understood and told me to have a good time. Aw, oh, thanks, guys. I quickly got ready and was about to leave the front door when Yano grabbed me. Lester? Why? I... Yeah? I'd like to go too, but that'd be impossible, right? Oh, sorry. It's a family dinner, so I can't. Besides, if my parents see you, they'll be too surprised. Family dinner. Family. Are your parents precious to you? What? They're... family. So the two must be really precious to you. Of course, they are my parents. Yana? Yana stopped talking, but he was still holding on to my clothes. I told him, but I could tell he still wanted to come with me. I felt a bit restless since the car was about to come soon. <laughs> oh my kiddo, my honey is going to be late now. And if you clung on to her for everything, even an angel would feel uncomfortable. Thank you, Yuri. Okay, I know. I'm sorry for asking, Master. Oh, it's nothing. I felt Yano get gloomy again, so I quickly thought of another subject. Oh, on my way home I'll get ice cream. We'll eat it together when I come back. Oh, alright. Yano's face brightened. I'll be waiting until you get back, so be careful. I'll worry if you're late. Okay, I'll come home as soon as I can, and I'll text you if anything comes up. I hope. I said bye to the rest of the boys in the living room. Then I'll be back. Rest here. Be careful. Okay. Thanks, Day. Off to have another lovely dinner with the parents. Maybe this will go better than last time. Here, here. It took quite a while to get to the hotel from my house. When I arrived at the hotel, I saw Mom waving in front of the restaurant entrance. Oh, Mom! Dad! I haven't seen my parents in a long time. They did look tired, but I felt relieved to find them both healthy. I hugged them quickly and went into the restaurant. Here we are again. I really haven't seen them for a long time. After greeting each other, we moved to the table they reserved. <laughs> Gosh, I can't remember Dad's voice. I'm glad you look happy. You too, Dad. Yes, I think you've grown since the last time we saw you. Are you still growing? Really? I haven't noticed. You've grown a lot, and you look quite like an adult now, and you look more mature. Haha, <laughs> do you think so? I still remember when she was a crybaby. Um, Don't you remember? You have no idea how difficult it was when you wailed and begged for something. <laughs> Did I? I don't remember much from when I was little. Do you really not remember? Let's see. Yes, that doll. How old were you then? Honey, do you remember? The doll your father bought her. A doll? I was intrigued when I heard that. I must have liked dolls since I was little. I think I did. Since I liked toys in general. So it couldn't have been Lance. Hmm. Come to think of it, I think I surrounded myself with toys to miss my parents less. 
A doll? Oh, right. I remember, too. Father brought it for you without telling us. Dad agreed, saying he remembered. Yes, you liked that doll so much. It was so worn out and dirty that we told you we'd get you a new one. But you cried and cried, wailing no. We didn't throw it away in the end. After Grandpa passed away, I put it in the storage room. I did? I don't remember at all. I must have been really stubborn the way she talked about it. But it's weird. I don't remember anything about the doll. Besides, we have a storage room? <laughs> I tilted my head. Really? I thought you'd remember that doll since you cherished it so much. Thanks to that, I was late for my conference presentation that day. I thought hard. But I couldn't remember anything. Don't go. Master, don't abandon me. Don't forget me. Dolls are forgotten. Oh, This is... That white-haired question mark dude in the intro, isn't it? This is the doll I'm trying to remember. That's and he's he that doll's trying to help me remember with these dolls for some reason. I don't know. I don't know how this is all connected really yet. <sighs> Strange. Aw. I forgot about that doll though. I feel so bad. What Yano said suddenly flashed through my mind. I'm sorry. I ended up apologizing without knowing. I felt sorry for that doll rather than my parents. If it was a doll I cherished that much, why can't I remember anything about it right now? Don't apologize for what's past. But really, honey, I thought you remember that doll forever. But I guess as you grow up, you get tired of it and get interested in other things. Oh, come to think of it, do you still collect those dolls that look like people? What? Those heavy dolls that look like people, do you still play with them? Oh, I evaded. Mom looked displeased with me. You never get sick of playing with dolls. Aren't you interested in something else? I felt a bit upset at Mom's words. BJDs are an important part of me. Even if no one else acknowledges that. What's a BJD? Anyways, you are so much like your grandpa the way you collect all those things. And you're like your dad the way you quickly forget things you're no longer interested in. You're like that too. When you're into something, you stop eating and spend your whole time researching. But when you get tired of it, you give up right away, don't you? That's just being realistic. What can I say? I'm a renaissance man and master things quickly. We'll agree to disagree. <laughs> Ahem. So is that old doll still in the house? I don't know. I put it in storage before. I don't remember seeing it ever since. Is it still in the storage room? Oh, right, then do you remember this? Dot? 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 What? Well, what, did you remember what? What, what were the dots? <laughs> Mom and Dad looked happy as they talked about when I was little. I had fun listening to stories of when I was little. We finished dinner in a joyful mood, I guess. I wish we could go up together and talk more. We haven't seen each other in a long time. Right now? It was dark outside the window. I saw the clock and it was pretty late. I should start heading home now. What should I do? Hmm. I really think I should go home. I did promise- I promised Yana that I would go home. Now that I actually have control, unlike the time where I ignored Lance. I think that would be for the best. I remember the boy seeing me off. More than that, I thought of Yano, who asked me not to be late. Um, but I couldn't think of an excuse. Yano's surely waiting for me right now. Here, let's go up. Let's talk more. I'll call a cab when you go back, so don't worry. Uh, after seeing their faces, I couldn't refuse. Cutie! Cutie! No! I ended up just hesitating and couldn't find any excuse to give. Alright, let's go. No! I talked a lot with Mom and Dad in their hotel room. 
The research they'd been working on must have done pretty well. Dad got excited while talking about his work and fell asleep after gulping down beer. <laughs> oh dear. He's weak with alcohol, but he does this every time. I'm sorry that Dad's like this when you're here. It's fine. I had a good time today, but I can't stay the night, though. Mom has so many things other than Dad to care about. I can't trouble her by staying the night here. I'm so sorry. Let's have some more family time when we come back next time. Okay, that sounds good. Then I'll be off. Alright, be careful. Can you text me when you get home? <laughs> okay. So like a mom. Mom got a cab and helped Dad to the lobby. I gotta get home to my boy. Was I nervous from meeting them? I forgot to call home. It was already almost midnight. Everyone should be sleeping by now. I held up my phone and checked the texts. I thought maybe Yano sent me some texts. But there was none. Is he sleeping? <laughs> Thank you, sir. I got off the car and looked at our house. The windows are all dark. Everyone must be sleeping. I guess they were all tired from the exams and housework. I felt the fatigue creeping over me. Oh, I'm sleepy, too. I should go to bed right away. I lifelessly treaded to the front door. Huh? Who, who is it? Something squirmed in the dark. Ah! As I screamed with fear, the shadow jumped towards me. Ah! Huh? Y Yano? The shadow abruptly approached me and grabbed my clothes. Someone who'd grabbed my clothes is... Master... Master, Master, Master. I heard Yano's small voice through the dark. He was repeatedly calling my name and his eyes were unfocused. Y Yano, are you okay? I held onto his shoulders to calm him down. Were you outside for long? His shoulders were stiff from the coldness. Not again. I could feel his cold body temperature through his thin clothes. Yano slowly moved his mouth. I thought you wouldn't come. What? I thought Master would disappear. I thought if I wait like this, you'd come back. But no matter how long I waited, Master didn't come back. <sighs> you should have called. I remember the empty text box. There weren't any missed calls, so naturally I thought he went to bed. Yano's red eyes shook in the darkness. You said to call you, but I was scared. I was so scared. Scared? Yano's shaking eyes looked at me desperately. Why are his eyes so sad? What if Master says she doesn't want to come back anymore? That she's much happier with her parents? So what if she says she won't come back? I'm just sitting here waiting for her. What if Master forgets about me? Yano sounded lost and was trembling. Yano? I was surprised at his overreaction. I just went to see my parents. I had no idea he'd react like this. You know, Master, your family is precious to you, right? Uh huh. You wouldn't change your family for the world, right? Uh, of course. To me. Master, you are precious. I don't exactly know what a family is. But if I had a family, I think I would feel like this towards them. You are more precious to me than anything else in the world. But... But Master won't feel that way, right? I know Master has so many precious things. I also know there are a lot of people who like you. But... But then, what should I do? Yano held on to my clothes tightly. The wrinkles on my sleeves were sharp, as if they were the scars in his heart. I tried, so you could be satisfied. I said I'd try. But, it's not enough, is it? I'm not enough, right? Master leaves when your family calls. I can't even beat a dead family member. When he mentioned Grandpa, something struck my heart. Yano, that's... 
I mean so little to you. For me, you are everything. So I can't let you go. Yano's eyes were full of tears. I felt like the tears in those red eyes were boiling. I have nothing. There is no way for me to keep you by my side forever. If Master decides to abandon me, I can't stop it. Yano, stop! I thought we were past this! Yano let go of me and backed away. Yano only took a step back, but I felt like he was so far away. In his eyes, I saw a hurricane of inscrutable emotions. I tried, but it didn't work. Even when I tried to be overly nice, it didn't work. You wanted to leave me instead. I just wanted to be by you all the time. Yano spread out his arms, and his lifeless eyes looked at me. Family. Yes, I want to be your family. Like your grandpa you loved until he died. No, even after he died. So Master won't forget me even when I disappear. I want to mark me deep inside you. Yano ran towards me. In a flash, he leaned close to me. And held on to both of my arms. What are you doing? Please don't bite me. Ah? Huh? Master, I want to be your family. What can I do to be your family? I'll do whatever Master tells me to. I can do anything. Oh my goodness. Y Yano, calm down! I tried to take his hands and calm him down. This music isn't as fitting as the one that was playing previously. But he took my hands instead and put them on his chest. <clears throat> I could feel his heart beat through my palms. I lost for words and just stared at Yano. Hmm. You can't believe me. If Master asked me to take out my heart and show it to you, I could do that too. So Master, teach me. What could I do? I want to be your family. And I want to be with you forever, even after I die. His hands grabbing my wrists got stronger. His trembling only told me desperation. He was so desperate, and I didn't know what to do. Yano. His beating heart and his shaking legs let me know how he felt. My heart and his heart are both heavy. I see Yano feeling both the fear of being abandoned and the desire to have me by himself. How many emotions are you holding in your little heart? Yano's tiny body won't be able to handle all those emotions. I felt confused seeing Yana like this, and among all that I wondered about something. Do I really understand this boy? I see Yana's face in front of me. Although he was almost embracing me, he still looked cute. Just a moment ago he was nice to me and cared for me, but is that really all? Is this cute and lovely face all there is to Yano? What if I wasn't adoring him, but pitying him? Maybe I didn't truly care for him when he was lonely and nervous. Maybe I just pitied him and pretended to understand. Maybe I ignored all the problems and was hypocritical to him, not knowing his scars were festering. I didn't try to understand the real reason why he was this sick and troubled. What can I do for Yano when he's like this? What I'm feeling for Yano amongst this confusion, what I'm feeling is... Um, it's not really, it's, it's like Katie said, it's not really abandonment so much as it is he's always had to work hard for approval from his owner like that's the underlying issue of being abandoned is he thinks he wasn't good enough and he always has to try and be good enough so i don't think this is really the right thing to say i think it'd be better to tell him i don't expect anything from him he just has to be him he doesn't have to try so hard he's 
He's fine the way he is, y'all know. Please don't blow up in my face. I'm kinda shaky from that whole thing. I... I... don't expect anything from you. Yano stopped shaking, but his tears got thicker. Yano sobbed and backed away. Ma master wants to leave me. No, 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 no. Don't do it. No, I'm not. No, crap. Yana was backing away and I hugged him with all my strength. Oh. He froze from surprise. Yano. Master. That's not what I meant. The reason I don't expect anything from you is because I've already gotten enough. I don't need anything. Yano, I don't expect anything from you. You just have to cry and laugh beside me. Just like this. I don't expect anything more from you, so don't be so troubled now. Oh. I looked at him and his eyes now shook differently. I no longer saw the craze and just saw clear tears. I just kept hugging him. You're so stupid. Why do you want to be loved by me? I liked you from the moment I saw you. But... But it's the same for other dolls, too. If a prettier and cooler doll comes out, Master will forget me. That's not true. Being pretty and cool isn't important. That's not you, Yano. My mom told me this today. When I was little, I used to really like this doll. I wasn't separated from it for a second. But time passed, and I got new toys and forgot about the doll. I was really surprised when Mom told me that, because I didn't remember anything. Why are you telling me this now? Master, you... As Yana got more nervous, I hugged him tighter. Oh. Shh. Listen to the whole story, Yano. But I felt so bad for that doll I didn't remember. And I thought of you. I remember the things you said when you were sick. I felt so bad. I must have had good memories with that doll. But I couldn't remember. As I grew up, I looked for new pretty things. Because I changed, that doll became an abandoned toy I naturally forgot about. But... I'm different now. No. Oh. <laughs> I met you. I met Yano, who's alive and moving. After seeing you come to life, I realized. I realized after seeing you hold on to me, saying not to leave you, not to abandon you, that I can never throw you away. You who have a soul. That I don't want to hurt you. That you are so kind for caring and following me just because I'm your owner. That I should protect you. Yano cried in my arms. <laughs> Yano silently spat out all the hurt he kept in his heart. I wiped away his tears and looked at him. His body was turning warm again. The night was past midnight, so all I could hear was Yano crying. It was only the full moon in the night sky watching us. We stood there looking at each other under the moonlight for a long time. Yano, let's always be together now. <laughs> I wish to the moon over Yano's shoulder. Please share your bright light with this boy. Let him smile bright as the light. <laughs> the moon grinned. <sighs> oh no! Oh no, it's the guy! It's him! It's him! Always be together. It's all just false hope. No more of the fool who believes in promises. If you want something, you snatch it away. Yes, that's the lesson you taught me. Ah, no! Oh, too many feels. Too many feels in one. Oh, oh, Yana was crazy, and then there was love, and then there was the doll that I didn't remember, but is, oh. Oh. <sighs>